Hi, 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 brother. Looks like someone's awakened from their slumber. There is Alex. That is me. And my three droogs. That is Pete, Dim, and Georgie. We sat in the Corova milk bar, videoing what to do with the evening. The Corova milk bar sold Milk Plus. This would keep you nice and sharp and high energy for a bit of the old ultra-violence. Would you like some? Milk Plus. In a video, I'm gonna get myself some thought I'd offer. Not that you'll be here for any longer. Cheers. They tried to cure me, you know. After all, Dim, his brainless waste sack of a life, disobeyed me. Thought I'd be someone other than the leader. Well, I set my three droogs in place. However, on the night, of old big boy business. We vidied some more fun. The four of us out causing mayhem with a bit of the old ultra violence. Then Dim betrayed me. Along with Pete and Georgie. They didn't believe in my standards, or my tactics, or my manners. No, no. Perhaps a scurrying rat such as yourself. No one's gonna find you here. It's just me and you. Oh, we're going to have fun. Where was I? Dim. Smashed a glass of milk plus across my head, thinking it would put me out. I called the police and they took me in. Your humble leader, shackled thrown into a car like a pig, stripped down and searched as if I would do any harm. You see, I have respect. I don't cater well with criminals and scum. I respect the law and I intend to enforce it myself. Which is what I plan to do with you. Is whatever I please. After they took me in, they thought they could cure me. Played a real horror show in front of me. Set to the tune of old Ludwig van Beethoven. Old Ludwig was a favorite of mine, and they tried washing him out of existence for me, as if I'd feel sick whenever I thought of the old ultraviolence or any of the old in-out with the ladies. 
I'd get sick. That was their plan. I had video images in my brain that thought... that I thought... was fun. And now, after their treatments and sessions to cure me, I can't think of it anymore. So I've grown bored with it. Oh, I was cured, all right. And as for Dim and Georgie, they made up with me. They found me. And they nearly killed your humble leader. They put me in a trough. Once again, like some animal. Tried to drown me. But it didn't work. Their humble leader and your narrator lived on. I stumbled across some house, a very peculiar, familiar house. I couldn't breathe, I was cold, hungry, and left for dead. But they took me in, and as I looked into his eyes, I remembered I was there before. This time, I wasn't wearing my mask. I was terribly, terribly afraid that he'd notice me and realize that I was the one who murdered his wife. Tortured him and trust his home. Luckily for me, he was an old man. I couldn't tell left from right, up from down, or right from wrong. Unlike me, I know exactly what I do. I plan very meticulously what happens in my life and I adapt to every situation. I murdered that old man in cold blood. It felt amazing. I realized it didn't make me sick. Neither did the images of a real horror show or the old in out. Your humble leader was back. And that brings us to today with you. I imagine you're confused on why I chose you. And why I believed you were a perfect candidate for what I wanted to do today. See, I video these images all day and all night in my head. I can't escape them. I thought to myself, if I can escape this cold reality of how dark and twisted this world truly is, neither can you. Neither should you. So I picked up a couple records from the record shop. Heaven 17. And a bit of the old Ludwig van. I, Viddy, we should play some so you can relax before we get started with a bit of that old ultra violence. And if you do escape, I'm sure you wouldn't be able to say anything to the police.
And they're about as clueless as a bat without wings. Not knowing where to go. How to move. Or what its purpose is. Your purpose here is to please me. Your rights are gone. Your feelings irrelevant. But most importantly, your life is now mine. I truly believe after tonight you'll be reborn. You'll be cured. But enough talking, more action, more fierce battle when it comes to the old gangs in this town. None stood up to Alex and the Droogs. Not Johnny or his boys. Not the Crypt 15 or the London Knights. They all smelled of outer berries, garbage, and rotten milk. Well, me and my droogs, we were into class, high class, and violence. I had some fond memories with this cane. Memories of my murders, my theft, and my annihilation of this pitiful, pitiful city. I stay because I run this town, living with my old mom and pa. Or I used to. Realizing that they didn't want a murderer for a son. They weren't smart enough to be on my level. They weren't strong enough to handle what I've seen. And I tell you my life story today so I can connect with my victims. I can have you relate to the hardships I've been through. So you know that I'm not just a faceless killer. I'm someone just like you. Someone who could live next door, who could be banging on your door in the middle of the night, begging for help, asking to use a phone as a matter of life and death. Would you open that door? to someone like me. It seems as if you've already answered that question with your actions. And actions do speak louder than words. As you've sealed your fate, I've sealed mine. I didn't ever need my droogs. They needed me. I'll be back for you. You sit comfortable here. Don't make a peep. It's time for a bit of the old ultra violence. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>